So we built this patio about six months ago. There's a separate video on that. And it has this view of things you don't want a view of from your patio. So the project is to build a one panel fence to block that view. I'm going to be using a 4x4 pressure treated post. And so the question is how wide and deep to dig the hole. What I read is that the hole is supposed to be three times the width of the post. For a 4x4 post that would be a 12 inch wide hole, but a 4x4 is really only 3.5 by 3.5, so I just went with a 10, 10.5 inch wide hole. Oh, and I hit and broke this sprinkler pipe along the way. Hopefully you don't have that problem, but if you do, I made a separate video on a slide coupling repair. Then for depth, you take the height of the post above ground divided by 3, and that should be the depth of the hole. So for 6 feet above ground, a third of that is 2 feet, a 2 foot deep hole. I dug this one an extra 4 inches deep, filled with 4 inches of gravel so the post wouldn't be sitting in dirt. Here I'm adding a makeshift form to keep the concrete off the sprinkler lines. This is easier as a two-person job, one person putting the post in and holding it while the other shovels concrete around it. I ran a string line parallel to the patio and I'm using that to make sure the post is oriented correctly. When the hole is about two-thirds full, I used a pole to smush down any air pockets. And then we filled all the way to the top and a little bit more so that we could create a crown so that when it rains the water will run away from the post. Then with levels clamped to both sides so I can make sure it was plumb, I screwed in supports, something to hold it overnight until it dried. I also added a bead of silicone where the wood meets the concrete to further discourage water from getting in there. I'm using six inch wide cedar planks for the pickets and I've clamped one up here to get a feel for how high I want this fence to be. So I marked that line on the post, but I want the post to be a little higher than the pickets, so I mark another line an inch, inch and a half above that. The second post is going to be bolted to the brick wall. So I use a straight edge and a level to transfer that mark over to the wall. I've got the post spaced off the ground so it won't be sitting in water. I transfer the mark from the wall to the post, and then, since I'm going to be bolting the post in three places, I add three more marks, top, middle, bottom, making sure those marks are in the middle of bricks and not in the mortar. After cutting the post to length, we need to drill three holes for the bolts. Countersink first with a bit wide enough for the washer, and then go back and drill the actual bolt hole. My bolts are 3 8 inch, so I'm using a 3 8 inch bit. With those three holes drilled, I'm holding it back up against the wall and using a 3 8 inch masonry bit to mark each location I'm going to have to drill into the brick. You can see this first mark is plainly wrong. I didn't notice it at the time, but it's obviously just not centered. So while I did drill this hole, I actually had to go back and fill it with mortar mark a different hole in a different brick and re-drill the post and re-drill the hole. You know, I've read that people have trouble getting through brick without a hammer drill, but this is just a regular old cordless drill and it worked just fine. Thick pressure treated lumber isn't always pressure treated all the way through, so I did add some stain sealer I had sitting around to the holes that I drilled for a little extra protection. So then it's just a matter of adding washers to the bolts and ratcheting those bolts into each of the three holes that we drilled. 
I am using 3 8 inch wide, 6 inch long masonry bolts, 3 inches of which are through the wood and the other 3 through the brick. This is a pressure treated 2x4 that I'm splitting down the middle. After cutting it to length, I'm going to screw it to the posts, and then the pickets will be screwed to it. I felt like the pickets would look best if they were flush with the front of the post, so that's how I'm lining up this board. The video is fine here, I think something's wrong with your eyes. But just in case, I'll point out that I am pre-drilling these holes and then using 2.5 inch deck screws. And same process down the other side, using about five or six screws across the whole length. The pickets are just a touch long, so I mark and cut those to length. And then I give them a coat of gray paint. I start with the bottom picket get that clamped and level and then I'm pre-drilling and screwing two holes on each side using one and a quarter inch exterior screws. From there I'm just adding pickets one on top of the other. They're actually going together very tightly but you'll see in a minute that they dried and shrank a little over time, creating gaps. So depending on the look that you're going for, you might want to give your wood some time to really, really dry. So the pickets are not flush. To fix that, I added a 2x2 two two inch pressure treated spine to the back of the fence clamped that in place, ran a string down the front, and then pre-drilled and added one screw for each board. It would have been easier to paint these posts before they went up, but they were very wet from the pressure treating process when I first bought them. At this point, they've been drying for about two and a half months. So here we are at the end. Pretty happy with how it turned out. You can see some of those small gaps in the pickets I talked about earlier. It doesn't bother me at all, but if it does one day, it won't be a big deal to unscrew these boards, reposition them, and then screw them back in.